Christmas and music go together. Tonight we have a galaxy of musicians and performers here for you. Let me take this opportunity to introduce them. We have the honor of introducing to you a great musician who has been blowing hard for the last 20 years. A great musician, a great saxophonist and a great person, Hilary Furtado. Should I blow? Please. Thank you, Hillary. And with Hillary, we have a veteran, a very talented guitar player. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, all my friends used to talk about this guy. And now I'm getting a chance to meet him. It's an honor. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we have Maxi. How are you feeling today? Feeling great. How, how do you feel to be a part of this uh, yeah. program? After 30 years of playing, I feel uh, great uh, coming to a studio for the first time. Okay, let me ask you, Guys, this question, what difference do you see in the music industry now and when you guys started off? Well, there were a lot of talented musicians at that time. Now the talent is slowly wearing down because a lot of musicians are going abroad and uh, there are very few uh, musicians left in Karachi. Hillary, uh, I've seen you play almost everywhere. You've been a part of this industry for a very, very long time. You've played with almost everybody. Yep. How do you feel uh, today uh, to be a part, still playing in Karachi, still playing in yeah, Pakistan? Yeah, still playing in, in the hotel. How do you feel? I mean, is it a positive feeling to still be a part and I'm, do you feel a progress? I to play live with the live musicians. So Hilary, you've been playing the, uh, the saxophone for 20 years? More than that. More than 20 years. How did you pick this instrument? Basically, I was in Singapore. <coughs> there was a band of mine from Karachi. So you were you were playing in Singapore. I was singing with a Thai band. In Singapore. In Singapore. And Twenty years ago. In Bangkok and all these places. Yeah. Okay. And uh, my band broke up, so I had to join a band. So my Pakistani band was there. Right. They were known as Talisman. What were they called? Talisman. Talisman. Mm. Okay. And after that, they asked me to take up a blowing instrument. So I tried trumpet, but trumpet was difficult to blow. Saxophone was a little easy. Saxophone That's, is easier to blow. Yeah, because trumpet has three notes and. It's difficult to blow. But you, you, you said you initially started playing the guitar, so wasn't it difficult to switch from the guitar to the saxophone? No, not so much. Did you have to do a lot of blowing practice, like blow lots of balloons and... <laughs> no. <laughs> no? You, how did you get your lungs... <laughs> how did you get your lungs to get so... I well, got used to it now. You got used to it. Right, so if, if, if I wanted to learn the, the saxophone, you for want example... To try, no? I can, I can. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't think I want to try right now and make a fool out of myself in front of everybody. You first but start blowing balloons. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go to Hillary and take some lessons. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do. But for Christmas, she needs to blow some balloons. balloons. After the show, we'll have like lots of balloons. Yeah. And whoever comes up here, yeah. they'll have to at least blow 15 balloons before they leave. Okay. So this is like in the contract. And I'll be first blowing balloons. Yeah. Blowing balloons. Yeah, thank God they're leaving before that. <laughs> okay, Max, tell me something. You've been playing for a very, very long time. Yes, so 30 years. How do you com uh, how do you rate yourself as a guitar player? I mean, what's the difference between an uh, international uh, quality guitar player and an average guitar player? Do you think we have uh, uh, quality musicians in Pakistan now and back then did we have some musicians? No, I think we have some good musicians in Karachi right now. Some of the young boys are playing really good guitar. And uh, in those days, guitar was not so... Uh, you didn't have to have speed. Mm -hmm. You had to have the sort of quality in it. So now we have guitarists with more speed and less quality. Okay, saxophone is, is not an instrument that is... Uh, uh, very common here. People, you, you don't have too many saxophonists. Something goes wrong with this. It's difficult to repair it. Is that the only reason? No. And then the instrument is very expensive. What about training? We, do we have institutions and uh, academies where someone In can Karachi, go and actually... No. no. We lack training over here. I mean, the schools also don't have proper training for, for uh, music. Like, for um, example, in other places, even, even in India, they yeah, have... Yeah, they have schools 
their schools teach music. music Let's right. say if you guys are given an opportunity to teach, would you guys be interested in doing that? I mean, teaching the young kids who ever want to learn? Sure, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of doing that as soon as possible. <laughs> no, I think it would be a great idea because, uh, uh, you know, we, A, we don't have any, any academies or institutions which actually or music schools that actually give this kind of education and now especially with the kind of opportunity and you know the, uh, the exposure exposure that, that uh, musicians can get and the, the talent that is required for our uh, you know industry at the moment we require schools we require training we require some kind of training i think they do have uh, usually singing they just have oh, singing. Just singing. music music well, no. they have recently opened up an institute know, what's the name? napa 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 is a, yeah, the National Institute of Performing Arts and they've got drama and everything else but not, not solely focused on uh, just music. Music. I just so this is it's Christmas time, and uh, you know, as I'm sure, Christmas time, you you guys must be very busy doing a lot of shows. I think previously you you uh, every time there was a holiday or a wedding, or uh, you you would have your schedule very booked, and very busy. Yes. What about now? Is has that changed? It's changed. Yes. DJs it's changed. have taken over. DJs have taken over. <laughs> so, uh, what is your New Year's resolution? I look forward to opening a guitar music school and maybe Hillary can also yeah, I'll teach saxophone you teach, teach guitar. saxophone can I come and learn in that Excellent. school no you can come and teach <laughs> <laughs> can I come and learn in that school the saxophone yeah why not why not so Hillary what is your uh, um, new year's resolution we're going to plan the same thing they're, okay, they're planning it together planning it together right, finding right. a place correct where Max which side gift uh, look for <laughs> don't do short talk for that don't tell them now. So we, okay, let's not, yeah, let's, let's not that, that uh, ends your give our plans out. Huh? Hard, and uh, you have a name for this uh, music academy yet? Not yet. Not yet. Have a name. Keynotes. Keynotes. I think that was one of the uh, bands that, uh, that was our played around uh, before, what, 10 years ago? Keynotes? More than that. More than that? Hmm? 25 years ago. 25 years ago. Well, best of luck for your New Year's resolution. I hope we uh, have the academy up and running by next year. Sure. And a very Merry Christmas to you and your families. Same Thank you so you much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, coming on our show. Now, we're going to go into a short break. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell.